My name is Russ Cook and I'm attempting to become the first person ever to run the entire length of Africa. This is where I started, this is where I'm going and this is where I am now. I've run 4,998 kilometres so far and I've got 11,802 left to go. In this episode, everything starts to go downhill. It's not great. As the van begins to fall apart. The van's dying. As does my Achilles. My foot's dying. As we race to the safety of Brazzaville. I feel like this is a good moment to highlight our laundry situation on Project Africa. Good, good morning, by the way. <laughs> what pose? Fuck me. Yeah. My bad. I'm pretty sure there's not any socks left in there. Oh, there's a pair in. Oh, oh. What a time. That is exciting, man. Finding actually, like, definitely clean. It's close enough. Pants aren't as bleak as I thought. What a buzz, mate. We were just talking about clean pants day. That's a good day. Well, clean pants day is ritualistic. It's like holy. So, foot update, please. Alright, on the. It's still there. That's good. It's still pointing out, as you can see, but, um,. It's definitely better. And what do you want to do with it? I think it's time to smash it into a bit of tarmac again. See how that goes. The you... middle part of the foot is still quite swollen. You can still kind of see it. Yeah. Just got to get to Brazzaville already and then... Mm. Recess. So we were chatting last night about the plan for Brazzaville. What, where are we at? Okay, so we're going to go to Brazzaville, hire a car. Gus is flying in, so we're going to meet Gus. Then we're going to go to Cameroon Embassy, Nigeria Embassy. We're going to submit those applications. And then Jared and Gus are gonna take the van, go get it fixed because the clutch, what's wrong with the clutch? It feels like the clutch is sticking or the gearbox is shift or sticking or something. So we need to figure out what's going on and it sometimes just won't go Vehicle into gear. Vehicle can't go broom broom. Yeah. She's doing a f about. We can't really afford another delay. So that's why we're gonna hire a car, me and Stan. And then we're just gonna go rogue for a few days until the van's fixed. And then the, the boys will come and meet us with the van and we'll head on up to a Wesso. That's the plan. We've got a four by four, which is the largest amount of money I've ever paid for any item ever. And it was terrifying. There's a paperwork that needs to get sorted out, which could take two or three weeks. Once that's sorted, then Jared's mate is gonna drive to four by four to like probably Brazzaville. And then Harry and Jamie are gonna fly in to Brazzaville and then they'll come and drive up and meet us wherever Big plans. we are. Big times. Lots Big changes. Big pieces. All right. Okay. See you later. I was determined to push as hard as I could without completely destroying myself in the process. All I had to do was reach Brazzaville, but that was still 300k away and my foot wasn't showing any signs of getting better. Even after 20k of hard stomping, I wonder why. There he is. Hello there. Oi, oi, oi. So, what's the verdict? You ran quite a bit there. You were fast, man. It's not great. Not great. Okay. It's getting worse when I run. Like, uh, it starts off just being like a little bit uncomfortable. I'm like, ah, oh, it's all right. But towards the end, I'm getting like shooty pains up the leg, which ain't ain't great sign, I won't lie. No. Mate, I mean, I don't, I'm honestly don't, I'm not really sure what to do. If I was training at home and this happened, I would be like two weeks off, mm. go get it scanned. Mm. Rehab it, but we don't play by those rules out here. It's kind of just more of a wait until it dips below the threshold of like big problem, yeah, and then run. <laughs> I am a little bit concerned about it. I can't lie. It's definitely something that has the potential to to just cause bigger problems. This is how fucking you know Achilles yeah. go and all this kind of like these tenders and shit, and then it goes and then it's just. Mm. I partially tore my Achilles. I uh, cut a few, like three years ago, or four years ago, or something, and um, I couldn't run for like I think it was nearly half a year. Well, yeah, I mean, like, we don't have much choice other than monitor it till Brazzaville yeah. and just get there slowly. Maybe it's sensible for you to stop running for the day now you've done 20. See Do how it works. Yeah. Oh, mate, it's kind of annoying. It is. It really is. But you're going to put in 20 more, hey? Uh, yeah, I reckon maybe even a little bit more, lad. We'll see, okay. see how we go. Bang, bang. Enjoy your walk. Blocking out all the thoughts of my Achilles, I kept my head down and pushed back out onto the tarmac. I tried to run as much as I could, but took it down to a walk after a while. But I was determined to hit 40k, dragging myself down the road to a beautiful camping spot. 
Russ. What? What are you doing? Um, it's got 100 more metres to do a marathon, so I might as well, isn't it? <laughs> He's just walking in circles. How's the day been? Foot okay? Um, feels better when I don't run on it, but it's not very helpful, is it? It's not. Oh, back we go. What, what, you, what you got there, Russ? Vanilla puts. Oh, yeah, the did you walk the rest of that today? Uh, I did. I did run some bits, not for very long. Let's see how it goes then. <laughs> still there, still on. We're um, we're camped under a a, a power. It is kind of fucking pretty spectacular. Actually, it really it. is. It's pretty amazing. Down the centre, yeah. It's so photographic, photogenic. Okay. Bang bang. I settled down to relax with my pud. But little did we know, we had a visitor. <laughs> you want to see what I just found when I opened the cooler box, Russ? Look at that boy. <laughs> right, that's a big boy. Look at his <laughs> eyes glow, dude. Oh my god, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> There's only one solution for him. Oh my god, <laughs> he's going to shake it. <laughs> right, now he's just dizzy. <laughs> and now we kill him with the f***ing head shot. I need a weapon. Got a machete. Oh, there, oh, he, there is. he is. He's a crafty bugger, isn't he? He's gone under one of these hills. There he is. Why don't you just use your your foot? I think I got him. Come to my f***ing cooler box. <laughs> you get the consequences. <laughs> oh, me. Hello. <laughs> the ritualistic grooming of the day. Personal grooming is very, very important when you're out in Africa and you haven't showered for seven days like me. But tonight, we might all get to shower. We oh, yeah. pray. It's apparently a hotel close by. Warm showers have been promised. Warm showers? Really? Yeah. Restaurant. It's another stand nor I will need a cook tonight. Isn't that exciting? I am thrilled. I'm gonna run. Same as yesterday, 20k, see where I'm at. Foot was okay mm. yesterday, but some some problemos there. So we'll see how it goes. Still need to get moving forward mm. with me, so it's Let's get a pound tarmac. Brazzaville is the next real step in it. And, and then, then we can sort that footsers. Quick status check before you go. Quick status check. Headphones? Yep. Phone? Yep. Hat? Yep. Water? Yep. Watch? Yep. You have everything today? Hey. Okay. Mate. I think the world's about to end. Yeah. SpongeBob's dead. Brutally murdered. I hear he was waterboarded first against like plates and cutlery. It actually is probably SpongeBob if I'm Patrick the Star. Do you remember those comments? Oh, yeah, to be fair, I, st I still I do yeah. still see it. If we were SpongeBob characters, you would be Patrick. 100 percent like, Stan would be Squidward. He, he would yeah, be Squidward. I think. 100 percent I would be Sandy. About to say that as well. Sandy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you who you are. Uh, Gary. Oh, Gary the Snail. You're 100% Gary the Snail, dude. <laughs> Maybe Harry would be Plankton, actually. <laughs> Angry and small. Angry and small. <laughs> Angry and small. <laughs> Angry and small. <laughs> 20k, yeah? Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. Bang, 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 bang. Things were no better this morning, but it didn't stop me trying. I forced myself to keep going, eyes fixed on the road ahead. The only silver lining was the thought of a well needed shower at the end of the day. Despite the pain, I was able to make it all the way to the 20k stop. I think it's time for a perfect head. Oh yes. Did you run all the way? I did, yeah. Definitely deserve a perfect head. Oh yeah. What a time to be alive. Does it feel like you're on the mend? At all. Hmm. It's, uh, it's not great, I can't lie. I was trying to try, gonna try and frame it in a positive way, but I was struggling. <laughs> Dude, if it sucks, it sucks. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's not great, I can't lie. I don't even know what's going on down there, to be honest with you, mate. But I feel like if the lump does heal, that will give you the rest of your foot more of an opportunity to do that. Yeah. Do the same. You excited to have a proper shower tonight? Yeah. I've been bucket. I mean. I'm used to the bucket bath, it's fine, but it's not a proper clean, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a, a surface level. It's like a 50% clean. Vitals, face, tits, balls, arse. <laughs> so what's your plan now? Run, walk? I think run. I don't know if that's a good plan or not. What are you going to aim for? Good thing, number. 81. <laughs>
I think 50 is achievable. Yeah? Depending on how. Go. Uh, yeah. I probably will have to walk quite, I don't know how much I'll have to walk. I think you should walk some of it, honestly. Sometimes I feel like the foot Let's just twist it in, mate. Yeah. Twist it into shape, and then other times I'm like, that's it. The best way is probably somewhere in between. Do you, you know what I've realised Jared looks like? I've been trying to work it out for a long time. Jared looks like... Have you ever watched The Snowman? Jared looks like The Snowman from The Snowman. This is... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Any last words? I've pushed on, forcing all the negativity out of my head and turning it into maximum aggression, which I pounded into the tarmac. Brazzaville was getting closer and closer and that kept me moving forward. Meanwhile, the boys headed to the hotel and were met with some devastating news. There's no room. So. They, do, they do apparently have a shower here. So that might make it okay, but it's like when you get your hopes up for something, it's so cr crushing the morale. Like, because we do, we really do like pull together for the little things. People forget that one of the hardest things about being on an expedition like this is the lack of like privacy. We were going to get separate rooms tonight, which we haven't had since um, Angola, and I honestly, yeah, since I Angola, love, Angola, Angola. We, we all really like each other, but also being on your own is very important, and there has not been any of that. Uh, well over a month. Yo, yo. Hello there. We got to the hotel and uh, they have no rooms. Yeah. Okay. Which is like, it's disappointing because it, it is, is a nice place. But they said we can camp there. There's a shower in the house that they let us into. Okay. So we're going to see if we can chat to them if you can use it as well. Have you used it already? Yeah. yeah. So how much is that total? Um, it was 47.7, I believe. Oh nice, very My nice. My foot is it's sore now. It's throbbing, yeah. Ran to 30, then walked to 42. Okay. Then ran. It's better, it's progress. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. ready for some local cuisine? Yeah, we'll try it, mate. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is chicken. It's actually decent. Got some chicken pieces. We've got fish here. What is that? Um, beef. Beef. Meat. Yeah, I think it's actually good. I was yeah. not going oh, I can't lie. I was fully ready. It's like one mouthful and I'm going in the van and getting my fuel out, but um, it's actually good. Cool. It's actually f***ing tasty. I'm vibing with it. The fish is especially good at these. And I don't think it's the best. I don't like fish, so I'm well impressed with this. It's really good. What was that? Status update. Status update. Uh, foot is mash up. Clutch on the van is also mash up. We can't really get beyond sort of 45 miles an hour. It's not going from third to fourth. You can kind of like feel it a little bit, and like coerce it in the lower revs, and then it's just like, nah, bruh. Nah, that is a problem. Yeah. She, she will get us to browse, I'm sure of it. And then we can get her fixed again. But yeah, not not ideal it's the equivalent of like having a f***ing a sheep and you're just sort of like gently herding it in the right direction the first sort of like mash up the sort of mash up it's different parts but it's swelling up and giving me problems every day now yeah the achilles is all swollen today which isn't good we like now i've had achilles issues before so i know it's bad everything's just falling apart at this point <sighs> i'm just gonna try and get as many miles in without killing myself Without Achilles, Achilles, my self to stretch, give up. It's dire straits out here on Project Africa, day 135. It is a little bit. Man's dying, my foot's dying, but we are running still off hope streams and. Wait for it, wait for it, it's worth it, it's worth it. Perfect head. Perfect head. Yeah. It's a game plan for today. Get Malfi to tarmac, hit it early with the jab, double jab, right hook. This is because you can't use your feet anymore, so yeah, you can't use yeah, your yeah. hands, right? Just fighting. How does everyone feel today? I, I actually feel fantastic after having a shower. I feel pretty <laughs> alright, you know, I'm considering things are pretty bad, really. Yeah. <laughs> things are dire, but they don't feel dire for whatever reason. I don't know why. We just gotta get to Braz. Give a quick shout out for the name of the hotel that we stayed at yesterday. Chez Papa Desiree de. It, it translates to the house of daddy desire. Wow. Two. <laughs> Part two, yeah. the second house of daddy desire. Yeah, wow. It was a really fucking nice place, mm. actually. I got absolutely fucking hammered off a single beer. Yeah, 
Like I'm, I'm at Ross cooking Angola levels these days. Yeah, God knows what I'd be like now. Jeez. Get one of those little fucking duvels. A couple strawberry off daiquiris the, down there. You're off the fucking chain, mate. Down. Make you hurt. What have I become? Everyone I know goes away in the end. So does that song really get you like just to go and run? Really pumped up to go and drag my nose on tarmac for 45 case. Don't push it too hard. Johnny Cash had really set the mood for today. I could feel everything collapsing around me, but that only spurred me on. We were in a race against time now to get to Brazzaville with my foot and Nelly still in one piece. I raced as hard as I could up the rolling hills in the brutal heat to make it to the first stop. I just went for a runny shit. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's a bit of that. Yeah. Bit of that monkey we ate last night. Could be. <laughs> just quick disclaimer, we didn't eat monkey last night. It was on the menu though. It was, it was monkey on the menu. Monkey and on the menu, that's actually yeah. wild. I'd say monkeys a bit on edge for me though, because they kind of, they look a bit like us. And they also are hyper intelligent animals. Yeah. We don't eat monkey on Project Africa. How's your Achilles? Less said about it, the bell. Okay. Mm. So mindset wise, Russell Cook, are you thinking about this injury long term at all? Or are you just thinking... What are you thinking about? Is it true? Do you want me to shut up? <laughs> so you can live in your fancy world yeah. for a bit. Are you thinking about a game plan? Are you strategizing? Are you in denial or are you no, the game thinking plan is it's going to fix itself? Okay. What if keep faith? What if it doesn't? Worry about that when it comes online. Worst things have fixed themselves in my body before. Mm. And it will work itself out. Just got, to, just got to keep faith. I wish we could say the same for Nelly fixing herself. She does do that quite a lot though. We've okay. had we have had things on the break on Nelly that have just like just come back for fun. Me and her keep the synergy, you know what I mean? We've got the same vibes. Mm. Mm. Maybe if we fix Nelly, it'll fix you. Yeah. Alright! It's that time of day again! Oh, How far? 20? Yeah. The sun continued to beat down on me as I started to half run, half walk my next 20k. Brazzaville was still 200k away, so I was determined to get the mileage up as much as I could. Just to add insult to injury, Mother Nature had thrown me a cheeky mountain range to get through, so I got to enjoy a series of progressively steeper and steeper hills. How's that foot system? Uh. More worried about the Achilles now, to be honest with you. Well, it's all good, because you got crackers now. Yeah, mostly around about 85% of that. We're getting there, 44.5k. How many are you going to do more? I'm thinking, get to 50. It's going through your brain all right this second. Um, my foot's hurting a lot, but I'm trying to quieten that thought, so I don't want to really speak it into existence. Good to know that your foot's feeling so good, right? Loved it. Can you feel in your Achilles that, just that tingle of good health and strength? Yes. Yeah, man manifest it. Manifest it. Come. What's your message to any ultramarathon runner who Athlete. is doing 50k mm. every single day? And then their Ach Achilles starts swelling. What's your message to them? Right on, bruv. <laughs> okay, time to go. I strode out onto the tarmac for another 8K. I was pushing my body to its absolute limit, hitting the biggest mileage in a few days despite my Achilles getting worse. It felt good to be moving properly, but I had to push out the nagging feeling that Nelly wasn't going to make it. Oh. Big day. Another day, Don. That's the, the the biggest distance you've done running in about a week. Mate, max like 180 more of them and we're basically done. <laughs> yeah. We headed back to the hotel from the night before to tuck into another table full of local food. Boys, some more interesting things tonight. Ooh. What do we have on the menu? More chicken, because it bang. And gazelle. Tiny. It smells really good. It's not what I was expecting. I was something I expected to be a bit more like steak. My transition to a line is complete. <laughs> Let's have a quick status update. On all status update. Um, 
this whole guy Van. shit to it. <laughs> <laughs> really struggling, but we just crawled to the start line today. It's not good, is it? It's not great. She just needs to get to Braz, 150 k's away. It's touch and go though. I have faith, but only blind faith. <laughs> The objective truth ain't looking too hot, though, eh? No, it's not. But it's, not. it's, you know, we'll just have to try and ride it out as best as possible. What about your own personal mechanical needs? Better than this show. That's good. I think I've got a better chance of making it to Braz than Nelly does. At this point, I actually agree. Yeah, I actually agree as well. We had some uh, some sobering, sobering chats this morning about how long to left. Oh, bro, don't even get me started. That's actually... If oh mate, we have to say it out loud again. If we'd, hit the if we'd hit the original pace, we would be in Ivory Coast right now. <laughs> to finish the mission in the original target time frame, you'd have to run 111.8 Ks every single day for the remaining 104 days. And we have 11,800 Ks left to go, so I'm going to have to start the uh, intro again. Because that was counting from 15,000, but it's going to end up being like 16,800 total. I looked on a map when I finished yesterday. When we were coming through that original Congo route in the DRC, I was supposed to be here on like day 104, and it's now day 135. That whole DRC going through Cabinda literally cost a month, which is quite depressing. The robbery in Angola probably cost us, well, it cost us at least two weeks getting vi really getting visas. Plan, plan going forward. Yeah. Two stage plan. Stage one, don't get robbed. Stage two, don't maybe uh, don't sort of maybe get kidnapped. Yeah. Right, gangsters. Our realizations that morning hit hard. The situation was dire and Tunisia wasn't getting any closer. But I couldn't let this hold me back. Instead, I've turned it into determination to keep pushing harder, faster and longer and keep chipping away at those miles. Russell Cook, biscuit review. This is a Congolese biscuit. Is it Congolese uh, or is it not, <laughs> No, it's not Congolese. It's not a Congolese biscuit, but it was bought at the side of the road in the Congo, in the rainforest. Rainforest biscuits, what are you saying? It's got a solid crunch, a nice buttery biscuit base. Buttery biscuit base. With a strawberry filling that's like, flavorful enough to let you know it's there but it's not too in your face it doesn't take over the show but it's just a light entertainment feature of the show i'll now demonstrate me eating the biscuit bye mm. 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 okay we've got the really light content out of the way do you ever think about failure <laughs> <laughs> do i think about failure um no, very rarely. I'd say one of the only times I thought about failure was in the Congo. In DRC? Yeah. I probably think about it less than it happens in mm. my life, but it does happen a lot. I'd say failure is actually really important. Why do you think that you don't entertain the thought of failing your mission that often? What purpose does that serve? There's no need to give oxygen to that fire. It's good to be aware of it so you can plan around it, but if I unnecessarily give that thought, then all I'm going to do is great an anxiety within myself that isn't helpful. It's interesting though because some people use their fear of failure as their main driving force. You are pushed and pulled. So like the pushing is the fear of failure and then you're pulled towards like positive, healthy things. I, I think yeah. you yeah. learn a lot more from failure than you learn from getting something right. We're not learning it. Mm. My first first ever camera giver I hired to do, yeah. I just watched Whiplash by Damien Chazelle. I um got hired to film a, a concert in a concert hall in Leeds just on one one camera there was a static camera and then me with a moving cam yeah. brief was just like get nice shots and I was like I love whip pans <laughs> <laughs> so I decided that I was going to whip pan between all of the instruments <laughs> how did it go? I guarantee you. They never replied to me when I sent the footage. They just never spoke to me ever again. But hey, I don't whip pan it anymore because I've learned. Coming in the air tonight. Here's karaoke, Russ. Oh, oh Lord. Joe. Doesn't show. The pain still grows. Still grows. It's no stranger to you and me. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
What an absolute anthem. There was one thing coming in the air tonight oh, yeah. as I set out on the road again, but it wasn't what we wanted. Nelly was rapidly deteriorating and there was nothing we could do but hope. So what's going on with the car, Jared? Nothing good. Every day I genuinely lose faith that we're gonna get to Brazzaville with her in one piece. What seems to be going on is that the clutch isn't disengaging. The gears are just not locking in properly. Something's going on in the gearbox or the clutch. The clutch would need you to rev high to get power, which at the moment I have to do to get any power I have to rev it up and then it starts going and it actually starts pulling. Fingers crossed, Snelly. And then, finally, the inevitable happened. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah. It's got no power. I think clutch just went entirely. Yeah. Oh, What's happening? She's dead. Clutch completely went on a hill. We have no power. Been trying to organise someone who can come tow us. <laughs> and that's how we ended up stranded on a hill in the middle of the ROC, 160 kilometres from civilization, with a broken van, an injured man and absolutely no plan. In the next episode, we attempt to get the van to Brazzaville, but just when we think things can't get any worse... My God. <laughs>